Hi, uh, welcome to the demonstration of the PCC Code Create Modeling's shell command. Um, now I've got a couple of uh, models to use as my examples and the one we're looking at here is this sort of valve head um, and if we go to the machining menu we choose the shell command and it's asking me to select the open face so if I select the open face uh, if I just rotate this what we can see is it's going to shell down inside these pockets etc and dependent on the the size of the offset I apply if I put two millimeters it's also going to try and shell uh, inside this sort of flanged uh, area as well okay now that's not what I want so I'm going to use the shell suppression feature which I think is quite neat I think it was introduced in version 2005 uh, and I'm going to tell it to ignore faces so I'm going to start to list the faces that I want it to ignore so this face Okay, and uh, let's work around these two parts here. So what I'm doing is moving around the model and specifying all of the faces that I want to be ignored by the shelling command. Okay. I should have grabbed them all. Yep, that looks fine to me. So I press end. So to find all the faces, I've got a, a two millimeter offset, and then if I run a preview, okay, you can see that it's ignored this flange and these two um, sort of bosses on the outside of the valve head, and then I press tick to accept. So here we go. We've got a, a shelled out valve body, and we've suppressed um, these features on the outside of the body because we didn't want the shelling to move inside them. Okay, the next example that I've got okay, is set to active. Okay, is this sort of uh, machined block and as you can see we've got a, a couple of ribs and grooves on the block. Now, if I was to do a standard shell here, uh, what I'd end up with if I select this as my open face uh, if I get a, a wall thickness of 0.5, nice and thin, you can see from the preview here that it's going to shell down into those ribs and it's going to shell around these grooves. Now, that's not what we want, so what we're going to do again, we'll use the suppress feature. Okay, we're going to start a list of the faces that we want it to ignore. Um, what I want here is I'm going to select that one, that one, and that one. So effectively the shell is going to run along this edge up to here and it's going to run straight past these faces that I've defined. Once you get used to this command you, you, you know exactly what it's going to uh, give you in terms of results uh, and I'm selecting those outside faces. Press end. Okay if I run a preview now we can see what it's giving us. Uh, it's a pretty neat function shell suppression well standard shelling and shell suppression okay I'm just gonna pick the green tick to accept and that's my demonstration finished thank you very much